Today I'm going to show you how to knit these sweet mini purses with a circular knitting machine. I recently designed a knitting machine tote bag, and I loved it so much I wanted to design a mini bag for my daughter. The bag measures approximately 5.5 by 5.5 inches, and although I would consider it a child-sized purse, it really could be used for people of any age and it will easily fit a phone and a small wallet. This was a pretty quick project. It took me about an hour from beginning to end. I spent about 20 minutes knitting the pieces, 20 minutes to seam the edges, and 20 minutes to sew the pieces together. And I can think of so many ways to customize them. You could add an initial to the front, sew on gemstones, patches, or buttons, or create duplicate stitch designs. I'm actually hoping to film a tutorial on how to knit a duplicate stitch design with these bags soon, so stay tuned for that video. And as a reminder, if you're giving the purses to children or babies, you should never use buttons or any accessories that could be pulled off. Before we get started, I wanted to share some of my favorite new knitting machine tutorials, all of which you can find on my channel. My Knit Flower Bouquet, knitting machine scrunchies, and a springtime throw pillow. I have lots more fun patterns and tutorials coming soon, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all my latest videos. And if you'd like to check out my knitting machine templates, sketchbooks, and patterns, visit dianalevinenits.com or my Etsy shop linked below. If you make this project, please tag me on social media at dianalevinenits on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest. All the supplies I'm using today are linked in the description below. For this project, I used a 40 needle Centro knitting machine, loops and threads impeccable yarn in the colors lavender and lippy, a crochet hook, a darning needle, a pair of scissors, a knitting tag, and a set of small purse handles, which are linked below. To begin, cast onto a 40 needle circular knitting machine using scrap yarn. Wrap your yarn around the first needle and then weave the yarn back and forth along the needles until the end of the row. When you finish the row, place your yarn into the middle tensioner. We'll be removing this yarn at the end so the color doesn't matter. Just make sure it contrasts well with the main color, which will make it easier to seam at the end. Knit five rows in the scrap yarn. When you finish the five rows, cut a tail in the scrap yarn and throw it in the middle of the machine. Then cut a long tail in the main color yarn because we'll need to use the tail later to seam up and sew the bag, and place it right next to the scrap yarn tail. Hold them close and low as you slowly begin to knit your first row in the main color. Knit 75 rows in the main color. If you want a taller bag, knit more rows, and if you want a shorter bag, knit less rows, but I found that 75 was just right for the size that I wanted. For this demonstration, I'm using a knitting machine adapter. If you decide to try using an adapter, please make sure to read carefully the safety instructions for both the adapter and the screwdriver. When you finish your 75th row, cut a long tail in the main color and throw it in the middle of the machine. Then switch back to the scrap yarn and knit five rows in the scrap yarn. When you finish the five rows, cut a tail and crank the machine until your work falls off the needles. If your work gets stuck on the last few needles, it's totally fine, just remove them manually. Pull the work off the machine and gently stretch out the stitches. Set aside this piece for now while we knit the two side pieces. Cast onto the 40 needle machine just like you did earlier and knit five rows in the scrap yarn. Then switch to your main color and knit seven rows. Then switch back to the scrap yarn and knit five more rows. Cut your yarn and crank the machine until the work falls off your needles. Gently stretch out the stitches. When you come to the cast off and cast on stitch, you can pull the tail yarns gently to tighten up those two stitches. Set this piece aside and repeat the process to make the second side of the purse. You'll now have three pieces, the main part of the bag and two side pieces. We'll begin by seaming the sides of the main part. Fold the tube in half with the yarn tails to the left side. Use a crochet hook to go through the stitch all the way to the right side. Then pull through the stitch directly to the left on the top side. Then pull through the stitch directly to the left on the bottom side. Continue in this pattern, pulling through the next top stitch followed by the next bottom stitch until the end of the row. When you reach the end of the row, pull the yarn tail through the last stitch and secure with a knot. Next, remove the scrap yarn. Repeat the seaming process on the other side of the tube and remove the scrap yarn. We just finished seaming the main piece and now we need to seam the sides. Follow the exact same process as earlier using a crochet hook to pull through all the loops on both sides of the work and remove the scrap yarn. Repeat the seaming on the second piece as well. Here we have our completed pieces of the bag. Next we need to sew the bag together. Grab one of the purse handles. These are really the perfect size for this project and again I'll link below in the description to where I ordered this set. Wrap the top of the piece around the handle tightly. You can use a couple of stitch markers to secure the work in place as you begin to sew. Thread your yarn tail onto a darning needle and go through the first stitches on the side and secure the yarn with a knot on the inside of the purse. 
Then begin to sew the edge over the handle as closely as you can. When you're stitching on the inside, you can go horizontally, but when you thread your yarn to the outside of the work, you don't want to do any horizontal stitches because you'll see them if you do. Instead, make sure you're threading your darning needle to an area between the V-shaped stitches, and then when you're threading the needle back, go over one of the interior bars before heading back to the inside. This will ensure a more seamless stitch on the outside. Continue sewing to the end of the row, finishing with a stitch all the way through both side stitches and then secure the yarn with a knot on the inside of the purse. Repeat the same process on the other side of the work with the second purse handle. I just finished sewing the handles to the top and bottom of the purse. Next, we need to sew the side pieces to complete the bag. Place your side piece in place on the bag with the yarn tails on the inside of the purse. Thread the long yarn tail onto a needle and go through the first two stitches fully a couple of times to ensure a tight seam at the top. Then secure the yarn with a knot on the inside and use the mattress stitch to sew the pieces together. Go through the seamed stitches on the side piece and the bars in between the side stitches on the main piece. You can either go one stitch at a time or you can go two stitches at a time if you want to go a little quicker. When you get to the bottom, turn the corner and seam the bottom. Then, continue using the mattress stitch to seam up to the top. Make sure to go through the last couple of stitches a few times to ensure a tight seam. Then tie a knot on the inside of the purse to secure the tail. You can leave all the yarn tails loose in the middle for now. Next, repeat the exact same process on the other side of the purse with the second side piece. We're almost done with our mini purse. To finish up, turn the bag inside out, trim the yarn tails and secure them all with knots. Then thread the tails onto a needle and weave in the ends. The purse is double knit, so there will be an inside area where you can thread the needle in to leave the ends. Turn the work right side out and I always like to add a knitting tag to my work. I'll link below to the shop where I order my tags and a quick reminder that if you're making this bag for a baby or children to avoid adding anything small that could be pulled off. Our mini purses are complete. If you make this project, please tag me at Diana Levine Knits on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest. If you'd like to check out any of my knitting machine sketchbooks, templates, and patterns, visit dianalevinenits.com. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel for lots more fun, quick and easy knitting patterns and tutorials.